The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Much Michael Watrang, Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman, head coach Ken Sparks here on the Domino's post game report. Ken, uh, a gutty, gritty 35 34 win. How's your ticker after that one? Well, I was, uh, I was, uh, when we kept turning it over, uh, <coughs> I started wondering whether we was going to be able to pull this one out or not. But boy, we got an unbelievable group of kids that just refused to, you know, refused, you know, our deal about fight, finish, and faithfulness. Um, sure was very clear today, and uh, and I'm glad so much for the heart of our guys. And you know, just uh, when you get behind three touchdowns, and you know, to the team that we're not even slowing down, and we're turning the ball over like crazy, you start saying, "Uh oh." You know, maybe this one's not in the books, and so. Uh, but you know, there. This probably was one of the best things that could have happened to us to uh, get our backs against the wall, and that's what I said at halftime. You know, the uh, this is what men hope for is to have you back against the wall and find out whether, whether you you know how willing you 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 you're willing to fight and. And uh, whether you are going to tuck your tail or whether you're going to go get after it. And I thought they did a great job. Career win 324. You move into sole <coughs> possession of fifth place on the all-time wins list, passing Bear Bryant. Uh, what's it mean for that to happen on homecoming with a lot of people in attendance who made it possible throughout the years? Well, and that's the main thing, you know, is uh, if you were going to do it on a uh, on a – day where there'd be a lot of people that you could celebrate with and a lot of people that you could that you could thank for their contributions and people who've been such a major blessing in this program down through the years it would be a a homecoming game and it would be a a beautiful day a fall day like like this and only the lord could put something together you know like this and so so you know we're grateful uh, no question just uh just uh you know there's uh two you know two things the great commission says go make disciples and uh, and i hope that uh, that uh, in this that that's still the main thing and the second thing says to, uh, uh you know love the lord with all your heart and love each other and uh and uh, gosh what a great opportunity there's so many people sharing uh expressions of love toward me today and and uh, and i get a chance to do that back uh, with so many people down there today and um, if you get to do the great commission and do the great commandment in one day uh, <laughs> over and over and over man that is how can it get any better than that i, I would say that's probably uh the lord gave me a, t- a little taste of heaven today and so i'm i'm just grateful for it and thankful for um uh a lot of friends and i'm thankful for for my lord jesus and i'm thankful for uh uh uh, again, for all the people who uh, have, have got a major part of uh, whatever kind of records that we that we set today, so uh, we're we're grateful for that. Is that why this little light of mine is the <laughs> hymn of choice in the post game huddle? That, that's no lie, by the way. You sang two verses of this little light of mine in the post game huddle. No question, and uh, and that's uh, explains it all. You know. Um, we sang this little light of mine, and we said, Lord, this light, your light, uh, and this little light of yours. And uh, so uh, it, uh, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I, saw some, I, saw, I, I, I saw some guys, including me. That was, hey, now, you talk about breaking, uh, setting some kind of a world record. I led the music. I mean, I you led did? The, I couldn't uh, believe I, I could I hear it in the crowd mic, your <laughs> voice distinctively, yeah. which is, I don't know if is uh, impressive or worrisome. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> I, I, I was looking around at some of their faces, and they're going, you know, so, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, what a great what a great uh, event down there on that field after this ball game. Well, let's talk specifics in game. Andy Hibbett, a war horse, and Damian Baker. Good night. Shows up twenty five carries, one hundred thirty three yards, and the game winning touchdown. What about your two running backs? Well, grateful for both of them, and uh, 
uh, I told Andy after the ball game, I said, you're a thoroughbred, but you're wrapped up in mule stuff because you, <laughs> you're just like an old mule boy. You just keep going and you just keep plowing. And, uh, and uh, I mean, he, he think about what he's done in two weeks, mm-hmm. you know, as far as a number of carries and, and been in mud and, you, you know, uh, and taking a pounding today and it, almost totally exhausted. And we got to play more people. That's all there are to it. But um, – uh, I just hope he can uh, get up and go to church in the morning. Uh, he may be beat up so bad he can't get out of bed. So, but Damien is just a gutsy little old kid, and we, you know, when we recruited him out of junior college, we knew he's going to be a good one. Took him a while to <clears throat> learn some of the things about the offense, but he's going to be a great player before he gets before he gets out of here. Eighteen first downs for North Greenville in the first half. You hold him nine in the second half. What caused the change defensively? Well, I just think we uh, we we played at a little better pace, and uh, we got a little bit more. Uh, I think we got a little bit more of uh, urgency to do some things that we didn't do very well the first half, and they responded greatly. What ha- it seemed like you were able to generate more pressure back to back weeks, where second half you've really been able to get more into the backfield. Why is that? Well, I know. Uh, uh, we had some great individual <coughs> – excuse me. <coughs> I know we had some great individual effort. Uh, but w- another thing that, uh, though, that happened was um, uh, I think I think uh, uh, Coach Clowney uh, geared them up a little bit more with some uh, uh, with some calls that, that – uh, uh, it, it was a whole lot more fun, Coach, the second half because the kids were a little bit more excited about executing some calls that Coach Clanny was asking them to do, and it was great. Down 21, you come back to pick up the win. Can you draw any parallels from this game to, say, the Edinburgh game in 98 where you had to come back from a, a large deficit or any other games where you've had to overcome a plus 20? Well, I uh, – I think uh, there's been several that we have uh, come back uh, from 24 down and one or two or three that we've won. Um, uh, but a three touchdown against this group uh, that's averaging, you know, they've averaged 460 yards a game. And uh, and we're very, very uh, well prepared to play us. And um, so uh, probably uh, to – Overcome three touchdowns against that bunch is probably uh, one of the major accomplishments that our team has done in a long time. Get ready for Lenore Ryan next week. What needs to happen to prepare yourself for the Bears? Well, get well right now. You know, we're beat up pretty good after two ball games. It's been tough. And um, uh, and just uh, uh, get a game plan and keep growing. We just got to keep growing. We got to be a little bit more consistent with uh, – uh, with the way we play and eliminate some turnovers and, and eliminate some missed tackles and broken assignments on defense. We're just giving up too many plays on defense, you know, we're, and uh, we got to get that corrected. And and uh, we're still growing up, and hopefully we'll keep growing and, get, and keep getting better. We better get better because Lenore Ryan's a great football team. Ken, pleasure as always. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's Carson Newman, head football coach, Ken Sparks. We continue with more interviews down on the field when the Domino's postgame report rolls on after this on the Eagle Sports Network.